What's going on boxing fans? It's Julian Williams with the distance. I got another fantasy matchup for you guys today. This one is Lennox Lewis versus Rocky Marciano. Um, heavyweight matchup. This one is from Southern Sniper 74. Um sent me a few fantasy matchups to do. So overall this is a really good one because I guess because of the styles involved. You know, you got Lennox Lewis who is a tall, tall heavyweight, knew how to use his size to an event to his advantage. But a lot of people criticized Lennox Lewis throughout his entire career saying that he was a safe fighter and you know basically he was somewhat of a safe fighter but he knew how to set up his knockouts he knew how to put his shots together and he knew how to control the pace of the fight with his jab and other than was you know using his jab to control the pace of the fight he, he you know he also tied up to kind of offset offset the offense of you know another fighter you know like or sometimes he would and I guess with Lennox Lewis with that style that he had if you take the jab away he, he would have a lot of trouble because if you kind of come in close you know, he wouldn't have that jab to, to kind of use or utilize against you to set up any other shot so now with Rocky Marciano like I mentioned in a lot of videos and I know Rocky is a very popular person in these fantasy matchups but I guess because you know he was one of you know he was one of the only he's probably the only heavyweight champion to retire undefeated 49 no 43 knockouts but it was kind of in a time where there just wasn't as many prominent heavyweights as there as there was during the kind of during you know the early part of Lewis's career you didn't really have the same prominent heavyweights you had Jersey Joe Walcott you had Ezra Charles you had Joe Lewis, who was at the end of his career, and you had Archie Moore, who was blown up. You had these, those four men, and I, I believe he did. I think he fought Bob Satterfield as well. I'm not sure. I doubt. I, I doubt it. But you know, Rocky Marciano was a tough fighter, and he kind of and he used. He knew how to use his size. He knew how to cut off the ring, and he knew how to, you know, apply pressure. And he applied pressure for from rounds one to fifteen. Though sometimes he would start out slow, he knew how to apply the pressure on you, you know, from and use his and kind of use the fact, you know, his conditioning to his advantage, and did a very good job of it. And knew how to sell and was another fighter knew how to get his shots in the right place. In a fight like this, I see Lennox Lewis, you know, in the early goings of the fight, I see him pretty much using the jab, using the size to the, to an advantage, moving around the ring and you know utilizing that left jab they they threw you know automatically because Lennox Lewis did throw a very good left jab and he did you know move around the ring quite well even though he, he kind of trotted around in fights you know Lennox Lewis did a very good job of utilizing the jab and setting up the right hand though though there were times that the right hand wouldn't come automatically or he wouldn't follow up his shots with the right hand or sometimes it would just be his left jab I see like in the early goings of the fight against Rocky Marciano, a fighter that he probably knows that can can knock him the fuck out, you know, if he wanted to. You know, I think he would fight this fight extremely safe. But the question is, can he fight a full twelve extremely safe? Because we know that Rocky's gonna continuously apply pressure. We know he's gonna continu continuously go to the body and try to make it an inside fight. And then the later goings of the fight, I do, I do think that Rocky will take that jab away by coming by just constantly coming forward, because there were times that Lennox Lewis would throw you know a single jab and then would kind of try you know backward or try to the side or whatever. So honestly, I think in this fight, I see Rocky Marciano con consistently coming forward. I see Lennox Lewis using his left jab and using his left jab, you know constantly and, and having to double it up because against Rocky Marciano you're gonna have to double up your double up your jab and you're gonna have to have a lot of movement you gonna have to you know you can't and another thing that Lewis couldn't couldn't do is square up with Rocky Marciano so he had he would kind of have to fight you know kind of from you know an angle or a side against Rocky Marciano but you know with Rocky Marciano's style that smash mouth brawling slugger slugger style you know, face first, you know, head, coming in head first, you know, um, with his shots, or coming on the inside head first, I do see 
Rocky Marciano eventually knocking out Lennox Lewis in the later goings of the fight. I see him knocking out Lennox Lewis by round 10. Because I just think that Rocky's going to apply a lot of consistent pressure. Because he's going to consistently apply pressure on Lennox Lewis, let's face it. Lennox Lewis was a great boxer. A great boxer, but against a fighter who, who's strong, can rough him up. And another thing is, Lennox Lewis didn't like to be roughed up. He didn't like inside fights or anything. Rocky will find a way to make it an inside fight. So me, I'm going to go with Rocky Marciano. Knockout in probably rounds 9 or 10. I think Rocky will knock him out. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.